What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, Tesla has been at work on two new software updates that are rolling out simultaneously. One is a 2022.20 update and another is a 2022.24 point release as well. Now what's interesting about these are you are actually getting a couple new features one that has been kind of highly recommended and requested, and that is the ability to move your uh, repeating camera. So when you have your turn signals on, that repeater that shows up on the bottom right-hand side of your screen now can be moved in two other locations, that being on the top right or top left. I don't personally think that this is a great solution just because it looks really half-baked on where it lies on the user interface. It literally simply takes that square or rectangle and moves it and overlays it on top. I think it could be just done a little better. It could be implemented a little more seamlessly, but for what it is, for the couple of seconds traditionally it's on, it will work. It'll give people a little better angle, especially those that didn't want to look all the way down to look a little more just to the side to see that visual aid a little better. So having said that, not a test lab again, as usual, is on point and has a list of all the new uh, release notes and all that. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at these. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thumbs up this video really helps guys. And let's jump right into it. As you guys can see, we're on notatesla.app.com and let's jump right into 2022.24.5. This is the update that actually introduces the blind spot camera changes where you can now adjust where the placement is of that rectangle. And as you can see, you have your typical spot right here on the bottom left being shown with the car. You can now move it above it. So basically right under the speedometer or right to the right of that over your map interface. So again, I don't think these are ideal. However, having the ability to shift them around up more closely to eye level, I think is going to be a great addition. So based off these notes, as you can see, it says adjust the placement of your blind spot camera on your display by dragging the camera feed. The camera feed will appear in the same position when your blinker is active. To enable, tap controls, autopilot, automatic blind spot camera. Next up is the Tesla profiles again. This will keep your settings and preferences synchronized across all supported vehicles using your Tesla account. This is again then moving to those cloud profiles. This will allow saving your mirrors, seating and steering wheel adjustments, autopilot, driving and climate control preferences, navigation, media and data sharing preferences. And you can set up these in your Tesla profile under driver profile settings and change your profile picture from the Tesla mobile app. We have traffic along route. Any slow traffic conditions along your navigation route is now shown prominently as part of the route line on the map. So again, as you can see the note, you do need premium connectivity. If your vehicle has come with it or you pay for it uh, monthly or annually, you need that in order to utilize this feature. It's available across all of Tesla's models and only available in the United States currently. This also gives you the ability to disable sentry sounds. We talked about this before in one of our prior videos. Now you can have sentry enabled but have the audible alert turned off. So it says to prevent disturbing neighbors, you can now disable the sounds made by sentry mode. Mobile app notifications will still be delivered. To enable the setting on the touchscreen, tap controls, safety, sentry mode, disable sentry sounds. Driver profiles, any navigation recents or favorites will now be saved to the active driver profiles. That's pretty nice in case you have multiple drivers in your household. They are now saved individually. You don't have to see where each person has been setting locations at. Auto rear climate controls for the new Model S and X. Rear climate controls now uh, can now be set up to auto. Tap on the climate icon, auto on the rear screen or rear then auto on the center display climate pop-up. When auto mode is enabled, the fan speed will adjust automatically in order to reach the desired temperature. I think this is an understated change here, and I am really looking forward to this on our Model S, um, as we do usually have our daughter in the back seat. Uh, again, additional bottom bar customization. This isn't really relevant in the United States here, but it does cover the entire fleet. And it now says you can now add vehicle controls such as defrost, windshield wipers, and seat heaters to the bottom bar. Long press any app icon to enter edit mode and drag the desired control to the bottom bar. Regen braking, your vehicle can now automatically apply regular brakes, brakes for consistent deceleration. When regen braking is limited due to the battery temperatures or state of charge. Um, again, nothing new there necessarily. This is an undocumented change where it says deep GPS directions. 
When the vehicle's navigation is active and the maps are covered with another app, the next step in the directions will now be shown at the top left corner of the screen instead of the bottom left corner. So as you can see in the picture here, it is actually right in the center, right to the right of your current speed limit and the speed limit sign that it read on the re road. Tire pressure, this is an interesting change for those of you that have or live in a climate that fluctuates very heavily in weather changes and temperature changes. Now tire pressure data will only be set when the wheels are in motion. The service section under controls will now display the last known tire pressure for each vehicle. So right when you get in the car, if you've ever looked to see your tire pressure, it's usually a dash just showing it blank. Now it will show when and what the prior condition or pressure was. You can also now uninstall games if you, if you so choose. So you can now uninstall individual games, freeing up space in the vehicle's internal drive. In addition to uninstalling games, you can also view the size of each game and which drive they're installed on. So you can kind of see here the install size and what drive. Turn signals. This has obviously been moved up a little bit right to where the drive select or the um, shift selector was. It now shows the arrow here instead of where it prior was down below that in order to create room for the blind spot camera. And that is all for this version of 2022.24.5. Moving back though, however, we did have that .9 release now, which is 2022.20.9, and it carries a couple of different features. So for this, you can see you have speed assist, and it says your vehicle uh, is now running Tesla Vision. Any older vehicle is now being converted from uh, radar to um, pure Tesla Vision, which uses just the cameras, um, coupled with the neural net processing to deliver autopilot and active safety features. Dynamic brake lights. This is not available in the US, but it is across the fleet, where now if you are driving over 31 miles an hour and brake forcefully, the brake lights will flash quickly to warn other drivers that your car is rapidly slowing down. I'm not sure why this is something they haven't brought to the US, but I would definitely like seeing that here, as I think it does brought, uh, bring more attention to the vehicle and your attention when those lights are flashing. Uh, tire configuration is nothing new here again. This will let you uh, reset the tire configuration on your vehicle. Same with color, car colorizer. It'll customize how your car appears if you so choose to. You have Polish voice navigation, Turkish voice navigation. The camera cabin is now, excuse me, camera cabin camera uh, is now active and can determine driver inattentiveness and provide you with audible alerts. We're all well aware of how this works at this point. Your privacy, the data stays in the vehicle, but this is now active as well in this update. Same with the cabin camera on your Model S and X. You do have speed assist updates where it now leverages your car's camera to detect, to detect speed limit signs. We've had this quite a bit in the US, so this isn't relevant here, but outside countries, it can now read signs that are kind of built a little different than what we have here in the States. And then online radio, your internet radio service provider has been switched to either real sound. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this will provide an improved selection of radio stations and content for your drive. And again, something else not in the US, uh, sentry mode changes, seatbelt enhancements, Tesla adaptive suspension, and that green light traffic chime. Uh, these again, all have been announced in a prior version, but it is still uh, carrying over in this dot release as well. You do obviously get these energy improve prediction improvements as well, a new update to the Bluetooth menu, and home link buttons that have changed a little bit. I actually haven't seen this on my uh, Model S that has home link. My Model 3 does not, um, but everything else that was actually listed here, same with battery at arrival, and obviously regen braking are all uh, in prior dot releases as well. So we're not gonna jump into those too much. You can pause the video and read those if you need. But that is a lot of the update for these two new versions that are being pushed out. So. Let me know what you guys think. What's your most exciting aspect of these updates? Are you really thrilled about uh, the new update for 2022.24 that shows that you can move the blind spot camera? Let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.